everyone welcome to a new youtube channel the cymatic hub in this youtube channel we are going to learn more about science and mathematics content of ncert syllabus if you are new to my channel please subscribe my channel click on the bell icon to get the latest notification also like and comment thank you hello everyone welcome to cymatic hub today we are going to learn about unit 1 that is food where does it come from part 1 of class 6 science of ncrt syllabus myself milan party so let's begin hello friend welcome to our new innovative learning tool we are going to begin with our science series today we are going to start with our unit 1 that is food where does it come from part 1 class 6 science myself melon party so let's begin we all eat food when we feel hungry sometimes we eat food for its flavor that is we get attracted to it because of its either taste or smell for example when our mother puts delicious food in the kitchen we get attracted towards its smell and we feel hungry isn't it yes so food is the most essential thing for the survival of all living organisms. After air and water, food comes the next basic necessity of life. Food is like fuel for our body. So to learn more about this food, we are going to learn it in our lesson. So what are the learning objective or learning outcome of this lesson? People will able to identify various types of food People will able to define food. People will able to list functions of food. Learn about the sources of food. That is plant and animal. Identify edible parts of plant. Classify animals based on their eating habits as herbivore, carnivore and omnivore. What will happen if we eat same kind of food every day? Imagine just because you like paneer and your mother start preparing paneer every day. Will you like it? Definitely no. We will surely get bored. Eating only one particular kind of fish will not going to provide us with all the nutrients that our body needs. So, uh, we need to have variety of food. Different regions or the part of the world have various kind of eating habits. These eating habits are based on the availability of food in that particular region. For example, in coastal regions like that of Goa, we get plenty of seafood like fish, crabs, prawns, etc. So fish curry rice become the staple food of Goa. Also the climatic condition of that particular region affects the eating habits. Since we live in Goa, I will take an example of Goa. Goa has hot and humid climate. That's a favorable condition for the growth of coconut plant. Let's take another example. In case of mountainous region like that of Himachal Pradesh and Jammu Kashmir, climatic conditions here are dry and cool. So, to withstand this climatic condition, fat-rich food such as meat is included in their cuisine. In central India, wheat is grown over there, so their staple food becomes rice and chapati. Some of the food items that we can see here includes fruits, vegetable, fish, egg, meat, etc. Since India is blessed with varied climatic conditions, here the, we eat different kind of food. We have in Indi Samba do, uh, and Dosa from South India, whereas the Dokla becomes the famous dish of North India. Our diet also includes pulao, fresh salad, fresh fruits, milk, egg and fish are the some of the food items for non-vegetarian. So let us see how this food items are made. If we take an example from chapati, chapati are made up of two ingredients that is wheat flour and water. Here the salt acts as seasoning. Here is an example of an Indian veg thali which includes rice, chapati, then we have mata paneer gravy, dal, curd and some fresh salad. If you take an example of non-vegetarian thali, especially Goan fish curry thali, it includes rice, fish, fish curry, kokum curry and some fresh salad uh, and chapati. 
So in both the thalis, many food items or food dishes were there. Each of these require many ingredients to prepare that particular dish. Some dishes require only one or two major ingredients. We already seen in case of chapati and rice. Whereas some may require more than one ingredient. Like example, dal, fish curry, vegetable curry. So how you will define these ingredients? Ingredients are the components of material which require to prepare a particular food item. Some of the common food items and the major ingredients are listed down in this particular table. If we take an example of a boiled rice, boiled rice requires just two main ingredients that is rice and water. For example, chapati requires two main ingredients, flour and water. If we take example of a vegetable curry, which require vegetable, salt, spices, oil, water. If we take an example of a dal, which require pulses, salt, spices, oil, water. If we take an example of an omelette, which include eggs, salt, spices, oil. In case we have an example of a chicken curry, chicken curry may require chicken meat, salt, spices, water, etc. Mutton curry will include mutton, salt, spices, oil, water, etc. Fish curry will include fish meat, salt, spices, water. So we have seen in this table that many food items require many ingredients. So how you will define food? Food is that particular substance that we consume for going to provide nourishment to our body. So in order to have a get nourishment, our diet should include varieties of food items. Our uh, vegetarian people may contain, uh, their diet may contain vegetables, fruits, uh, cereals, pulses, milk, etc. For a, a non-vegetarian diet may include fish, chicken, meat, eggs, etc. Food is the basic requirement of all living organism. In fact, no organism can survive without it. So, why do you think so we need to eat food? So, let us learn more functions of this food. Food is going to provide us energy. We need energy to do various kind of work and activity. In fact, when I am talking here, I need energy. So, some of the food items that we consume provide energy to our body. For example, Carbohydrates and fats are called energy giving food. Food, food also help in growth and development. Uh, for example, protein, a component of food that is essential for the growth and development and uh, cell division. Some of the protein each is diet. So why we need to eat food? So let us see the function of this food. First, Food provide energy to our body. Some food item that we eat provide energy to us. This energy require us. Why we need to eat food? So let us see the functions of food. Our body need energy. So food provide us energy to our body. Some food item that we eat provide energy to our body. These food items include carbohydrates and fat. This energy is required by our body to do various kind of work and activity. Food also help in growth and development. Component of food that is protein help in growth and development of our body cells. It also help in promoting growth. Some of the component of food help our body to protect against diseases. For example, vitamins and minerals protect our body against many diseases. In case of deficiency of these vitamins and minerals lead to deficiency disease. Fruit also help to overcome wear and tear. Food helps in repairing damaged cells, replace worn out tissue, also help in healing wounds. We eat variety of food. We have seen many ingredients are needed to prepare this different kind of dishes. So these ingredients we either obtain from plant or animal source. Therefore, there are two main sources of food. These include plant source and animal source. The ingredients of food item obtained from plant 
are termed as plant source. The ingredients of food item obtained from animals are termed as animal source. Examples of plant source of food are fruit, vegetables, cereals, pulses, seeds, etc. Examples of animal source of food include egg, fish, meat, chicken, milk, etc. Let us now learn about these sources of food in detail. So let's begin with plant source. Here we have an example of cereals. See, uh, in this picture we can see wheat, barley, rice, maize, oats, millets. These are the some of the common cereals that we eat. Cereals provide us uh, cereals are rich sources of carbohydrates. Fruits and vegetables are rich sources of vitamins, minerals and dietary fiber. Some of the fruits and vegetables are carrots, cauliflower, spinach, tomato, apple, papaya, etc. Pulses. They are rich sources of protein. Some of the examples are kidney bean, peas, beans, green, gram, ural, etc. Now let us see the edible part of the plant. Before we learn, know the meaning of the term edible, let us see what are the different parts of a plant. The main part of the plant are root, stem, flower, leaf and fruit. The any part when we consume is termed as edible part. So edible part is that part of a plant that when we eat is termed as edible part. Let us begin with root. Carrot, radish, beet, sweet potato, turnip are the examples of the root that we consume as food. These are actually nothing but modified root. Some of the stem that we eat as food are onion, potato, ginger, garlic, turmeric, also sugar cane. Some of the plant leaves that we eat as food are spinach, cabbage, onion, then methi, uh, also known as fenugreek, mustard leaves. All these are included in our diet as vegetable. In fact, tea that we consume comes from dried leaves of tea plant. And flower as food. Flowers are certain flowers of certain plant are eaten, and some of these include banana, cauliflower, rose. In fact, rose petals are used in preparing jam, which is known as gulkan and which is often taken with beetle for its medicinal value. Fruits that we eat as food are some of the fresh fruits, papaya, apple, banana, guava, mango. We also consume vegetable which in fact nothing but fruit, benchol, tomato, pumpkin, beans, lady fingers. Some of the dry fruits which we consume are dates, Raisin, apricot, coconut, and we also get obtain seeds from the plant. Some of the seeds that we consume are groundnut, almonds, cashew nuts, wheat, maize, rice as cereals, Bengal grains, beans, peas as pulses. We either consume this seed in form of cereals or pulses. Also, we consume some of the seeds as spices. We also obtain oil from these seeds which is used for cooking. Sometimes we eat raw seeds in form of sprout. So what are sprouts? A sprout is nothing but a white color part that comes out of seed once it is germinated. We have already learned in our previous classes how to germinate a seed. In fact, germinated seeds are very nutritious ones. To germinate a seed, you require certain conditions. That is proper climatic conditions. That is air, water and humidity. If all these three conditions are there, then seed will germinate and will lead to sprout. Sprouted seeds are included in a diet. Some plants have more than one edible part. For example, if we take a uh, banana plant, we consume banana, we eat banana as fruit as well as as flower. If we take pumpkin, we eat it as fruit as well as flower. 
mustard plant. If you take, we eat its leaves as well as we use its seeds for consumption. If you take example of a drumstick, we use its fruits, the leaves as well as flower. So let us summarize what we have learned in this part one. We have seen there are varieties of food. Food that we eat comes from two main sources, plants and animal sources. We have also seen edible parts of plant. Thank you.